Wear the Gown is sponsored by CHI St. Vincent. Now we've been telling you for weeks about the rise in telemedicine. It's helping doctors and nurses treat a variety of ailments and at CHI St. Vincent, they're using the technology to prevent heart attacks and strokes. With the threat of the coronavirus, a lot of people don't want to leave their home. This is just something, again, unprecedented. We're kind of uh, learning as we go. If you're one of those people and you still need to see a doctor, you may be in luck. It's amazing how uh, we're able to do that and actually almost conduct a, a house call for the patient. Dr. Morris Kelly is an interventional cardiologist at CHI St. Vincent, and he's concerned people who may be having a heart attack or a stroke are not reaching out for help. What would you say to them uh, to, to get them to still go to the ER? Yeah, I would say that if you're still, if you're having symptoms that you are concerned about being a heart attack or being a stroke, then um, you definitely still want to go to the emergency room, still be treated at the hospital. The heart disease is the leading cause of death in Arkansas. You definitely don't want to ignore those patients. Here is what you need to look out for. Chest pain, uh, people talk about pressure in the chest. Sometimes it can radiate or go into the, the neck or arm. Generally, it's the left neck or the left arm. Uh, it may be associated with shortness of breath or not. Those symptoms of a heart attack, I mean, it sounds a lot like people are probably having a lot of anxiety, worries about their job, things like that. What differentiates a panic attack and anxiety from a serious heart attack? Yeah, so uh, panic attacks are something that we do uh, worry about. Uh, I get a lot of patients being sent to the office to be evaluated for chest pain, and we have to kind of tease out whether or not those symptoms are related to anxiety. Um, we worry about it more of a heart attack or symptoms uh, related to a blockage in the heart arteries if it's worse when you exert yourself or you're doing something active where you're actually asking your heart to do more work and, and increasing the oxygen demand of your body. Whereas uh, if you can quickly identify uh, a situation or a circumstance that it brings on that chest pain, brings on those symptoms, it may be more related to that uh, specific situation uh, and therefore anxiety more so than being related to your heart. So if you have a sudden onset of chest pain, call 911. If it's mild, you want to talk to your physician about being seen by a cardiologist virtually. It's actually fairly simple. I mean, the app that we use is uh, pretty quick. CHI St. Vincent's app is so realistic, it even has a virtual waiting room. Doctors are asking you to do some home monitoring if possible. They can check their heart rate, check their blood pressure. Some people actually have a pulse ox machine, which will check their uh, oxygen level as well as their heart rate and uh, give us that information. Information that will keep you safe in sometimes scary times. Uh, patients still need to have their blood pressure checked, still have to have their uh, coronary disease taken care of, their diabetes monitored and that sort of thing. And so uh, we're just trying to make sure that uh, on top of everything else we're doing with the virus that we are maintaining uh, and, and keeping those patients safe.